Good morning, folks. More than a week ago, we watched a highly active plague area produce umbras. A massive sunspot group was born on the Earth-facing disk, but its activity fell silent. Type 3 radio bursts abounded, but it could not produce major solar flares. Now the big sunspot group departs, having failed to produce any solar flares or CMEs. But we do have CMEs in another form. These are the filament destabilizations of which we've advised. Multiple CMEs are present, but luckily the last one appears to be the weakest, and much of the material in the largest filament actually fell back down. I do not believe Earth to be in any significant line of fire. We did take a gamma burst a few hours ago from the Virgo constellation. An incredibly dense bunching of solar winds spun round the phi angle and created a significant plasma penetration situation where the magnetic field is only slightly perturbed but the surge wiped the near-Earth electrons and is creating a dangerous charging situation for satellites. Well folks, that's a big northern coronal hole. And then the patch you see below is trans-equatorial, the most important coronal hole position. The readings began coming in at 6.8, 6.7, with smaller magnitude aftershocks following closely. The USGS has taken one of the lowest and least common readings of 6.4. Top stories are about the rough night in China. After a fire broke out, it spread to a chemical and dangerous goods warehouse, and the explosion that ensued was unreal. Hundreds of people are confirmed injured, more than a dozen died, and I'm wondering about toxic air and water in the wake of that chemical explosion. But miles away in the mountainous inner country, a landslide buried a town at midnight local time. Can't catch a break. Rescue efforts have saved a lot of people, but many are still missing. For the next story, we have to jump back a few days. Hawaii might be getting pre-sunrise sprites if they look in the right direction. Well, it turns out I'm not the only one who had that idea. Steve Cullen sent in his shots of the sprites to spaceweather.com and they were awesome. Right now, the storm is bending west quickly and may miss landfall directly. The rains won't miss the next few days, however. Featured website content today is Deeper Look number 70, posted last night, some new Starwater stuff. And of course, Pittsburgh Conference is only two months away, folks, Phoenix in January, observing the frontier. Come on out and see us. Rain potential again in the desert? Check your local forecasts around lunchtime. Over in Europe, we see two lows of note. The one at Iceland is stronger, but the rain coming inland to the south may be severe as well. Down under, we see the storm sandwiched between nations. Locals will find that she dominates the weather down there. We've got the atmospheric layers in our current conditions today, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.